Hey, 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 family, and welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Evelyn, here, and I wanted to do a video profiling the women that um, have indirectly or directly uh, helped me in my femininity journey. So I've done a couple of videos just sharing about my femininity journey, and, you know, um, you know, some of you have said like, you know, you've had some similar experiences, just like, you know, there's there's a lot of influx of people in the space um, and you're trying to, you know, really find, you know, the people that are going to give you what you're looking for out of your femininity journey. Now, let me say this as a disclaimer. Um, I, I probably don't watch the majority of the most popular femininity people on YouTube. Um, and so I can't really speak on them. So like if, if I don't mention them in this video, it's not because I think that they're bad or, you know, or they don't meet my criteria. It's probably because I just haven't watch them and I'm probably not going to watch them right so like if you ask me about somebody in specific and be like well what do you think about this person I'm gonna already say right now I ain't gonna watch okay <laughs> I'm not gonna watch um you know I'm in a place in my femininity journey where I'm really really happy with the progress that I've made I really feel like I have gotten some really good um you know mentors uh in the space like i said either directly or indirectly i feel like i've got some good resources you know different books and things that i've read i feel like i have a pretty um good grasp on the concept of femininity and um you know it being in harmony harmony with masculinity um i'm also if if this is your first video with me i am not a femininity coach teacher whatever i am a woman who went through her own femininity journey and I just I just feel like I just want to share a couple of tidbits here and there. I don't even know how many more of these videos I'm going to do because I don't really know how much more I have to say um, because I do feel like it's a very personal work that you have to do um, and you have to find what's right for you. But in one of my recent videos, I was, you know, sharing about like that. I do feel like there are a, a, there's a lot of conversation in the femininity space around the exterior right and while i do believe that that is a component of femininity so i am not discrediting that or saying that those people are bad or and I, listen i don't know who those people are like i just be seeing the different videos and the thumbnails if you search femininity uh particularly uh in this phase or in this year 2021 um it will be way more videos than i've seen so i'm going to share with you um the people that have really helped me on my femininity journey, what you're going to find is that the majority of them are women. Um, it's kind of like, who do you want to learn about birthing children from? Uh, a woman who's birthed several children or a, gyne or a male gynecologist? Like they both do have some, some experience about birthing, but they're uh, perspective is going to be different. One is going to be observation and uh, learned information and one is going to be uh, experiential like they, they've lived this right so um you, you like that's kind of that was my choice so that doesn't mean that there aren't men who know how to communicate on masculinity but i mean on femininity but for me like I'm, I'm never gonna tell a man how to be a man like yeah I, like that's just my personal preference again you know, I, 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 let me put this disclaimer out there. I have a bit of a spicy personality. I try to keep it, you know, politically within reason online. And so I, sometimes I have to put a lot of disclaimers because sometimes I don't, it doesn't come across the way I want it to, but for my personal choice, right? So you're going to see from these, from this list, um, of people that mentors, and I, when I say mentors, I'm not saying that I know these women personally but i'm saying like i've either you know taken a course or a program with them or i've read their books or i've um absorbed a lot of their content and i and and i have found it useful okay let's just jump right into uh the women and these are in no particular order but when i get done i'll kind of wrap up and, and what you're going to kind of see is that um these women all have some very, like they have a lot of things in common right and I'll kind of like recap and and talk about that at the end I'm gonna say that the first person I want to talk about is Yaya Smith okay a feminine success 
and I'll put their Instagram handle up as as well if they have Instagram or and if they have a YouTube channel, right? And so here's the thing, um, what I like most about Yaya, you know, when I think I told you the story that I had went to a conference and I met, I met this little petite little woman and she told me that she was an urban farmer, um, but then she offered a class called Flawless Femininity. And that has had to be now six or seven years ago that I met her, five or six years ago. Anyway, um, several years ago. And, you know, I took her class fall as femininity and I like I was knee deep in her world at that point. Right. I don't think she offers like I don't think you can enroll in flawless fem fem femininity now because her brand um, and her teachings have expanded to a, a very immersive experience. And one of my favorite things about Yaya is that she's teaching femininity from the standpoint of how it affects multi facets of your life. Right. So. She's talking to you about like, you know, femininity and how it relates to how you feel about yourself, femininity and how it uh, relates to your home life, femininity and how it relates to your work life, femininity and how it relates to your relationships. Yes, your relationships or relationship with your parents, your children, people around you, right? Your siblings, things like that. And so one of the things I, I really enjoyed about her was that kind of... Um, full spectrum perspective. And the other thing about Yaya is that she goes really, really deep, right? Um, you know, if you go to her Instagram and I'm gonna put up her new Instagram handle because y'all, unfortunately, um, her Instagram was hacked at like 38 or 40 K. Like it's, it was so sad. Um, but that's because they knew she was out here teaching the people, right? Um, but that, you know, it's a very full spectrum education, very, very deep. Um, and you know, I took classes with her. I've read her book, which is called Feminine Success. And that is also the name of her program, Feminine Success, Success School. And, um, like if you go to her website, she's got tons of testimonials about just the kind of transformation that the women that have worked with her have gone through, whether it's in their family, in their relationships, with their body, you know, um, it, it, in their work, right? And so, um, you know, she is married, has been married for some time. She is the mother of four children. She runs, you know, a very successful coaching business. She homeschools her kids. Like, she gardens. <laughs> like, I mean, like, you know, the woman is a powerhouse, right? And, and at this point, I'm happy to call her my friend, but she was at first my coach. And so, um, you know, I there were things about her and she's a believer and there were things about her that I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she is continuously living this. And one of the things you're going to see from all the women that I mentioned is that this is not new. Like they've been doing this work for years. They've been doing this work before it was popular, um, before it was trending before, you know, um, people were just hopping in because, you know, um, it would get them more views. Right. So, um, that's the first person. So, you know, follow her on Instagram, tell her that Evelyn sent you, right? Um, you know, go on her website, look at the testimonials. Anytime she offers her master class, she does this, like, I think it's like five or seven day master class. Listen, take it. Okay. Like if you're serious about starting your femininity journey, um, or going to the next level in your femininity journey, I feel like she's a fantastic resource that you can, you know, um, plant your feet in. Like you can go get in her community, um, get in her programs and you can really sit there for a while. You don't have to jump from thing to thing, to thing, to thing, to thing. Right. So that's, uh, the first one. The second, um, person I want to talk about is I want to talk about life coach Sean. Now, I, I don't I don't think that life coach Sean considers herself, you know, like a femininity coach. She calls herself a life and dating coach. But I have been following life coach Sean for, I think, at least 10 years. So I think I've been following Yaya for six years. Right. I think I've been following life coach Sean for. 10 years. Right. And um, what, what? You know, so she is married 
Uh, she is a mother of three. She is a successful entrepreneur. She has a thriving YouTube channel. Um, I believe Yaya Smith has a fairly, not new YouTube channel, but she's now just adding more content. Uh, Life Coach Son has a very thriving YouTube channel. Um, and she she talks about lifestyles and things like that, but she also has this series about relationships called Strawberry Letters, which is both hilarious and sad at the same time. And it's because women write her about these crazy relationship scenarios that they find themselves in. And she definitely dishes out no nonsense advice. But one of the things that I've noticed from watching her from o for over a decade, right? Watching the way she, um, you know, presents herself online, the way she gives her advice, um, things like that is, is I, I knew that she was a feminine woman, right? Like she never had to say it. She never had to do a video titled feminine, blah, 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 right? But it was woven into her advice. It was woven into the way that she interacts. One of the things that I appreciate her a, 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 a lot about her is that um, she does a really great balance of being able to share and keep certain things private, right? So like we know that she's married, we know that she has children, right? Like it's not a secret. And you also don't know the intimate details of her marriage. And I admire that, right? I just don't feel like everything is for public consumption. But one of the things when I was very early on in my feminine journey and I was more focused on like male female relationships is that her videos taught me a lot about the mindset of what a healthy feminine woman and how she engages with men romantically. And I remember there's a phrase that she says, all the time that has stuck with me. And I have said to people like, there's so many good men out here run, running around loose. Like she says that all the time. And I remember the first time I heard her say that, like it really was a, a, a perception transformation for me because um, I didn't have that belief at the time, right? And I, and I actually should go back and tell you one of the things that Yaya says all the time that also has stuck with me is that, and I'll probably do that for each one of these women, is that um, femininity is is not a box, it's a blueprint. And she says that in such a way like that if people are trying to put you in a box that femininity absolutely looks like this and absolutely functions like that and you must do X, Y, Z things, it, that that is not, I, I don't, we don't know what that is, but it's not femininity, right? So, you know, Yaya's thing that has always really stuck out to me is that femininity is not a box, it's a blueprint. And then Yaya, I mean, um, so that's what Yaya said. And then life coach Sean's thing is that there are so many good men running around here loose, right? And, you know, whether or not those things are helpful to you or not, I don't know. But those are things that have stuck out to me. But um, both Yaya and life coach Sean are authors, right? And I'll leave, like, you know, all of my videos about femininity, I, I typically leave their channel uh, information below, but I also leave access to their books. I actually, when Life Coach Sean wrote her first book, I actually flew to Atlanta for her book signing event. I mean, and that was years ago. Like, I there's a vlog. If I remember, I will attach it in the comments of, I mean, in the description box of this video. So you can see that I'm not, I'm not joking when I say I've been following these women for years. They've been doing this work for a very, very long time. And that means something to me. Um, you know, it may or may not mean something to you, but I really enjoy her from that because, you know, she really helped me alter my perspective on dealing with relationships with men. Okay. So there's that. And then just watching her, you know, function as a wife, a mother, a businesswoman. And uh, yeah. And, you know, she's spicy. Okay. You know, we love it. But she's also, she's also a believer. And you know what I realized is that most of these women um, are married, they're mothers, they're entrepreneurial, um, and they're believers. And, and again, in my previous video, I talked about like, I, did, I, I wanted their experience. I mean, not wanted their experience, but like I made sure that the people that I allowed myself to listen to or be influenced by were women um, who weren't doing things that I didn't want to do. Right. So there's that. So there's life coach on. So Yaya Smith, life coach on um, the next person. And, and these are in no particular order. Right. Like I just kind of these are the women that I know that I have uh, spent 
numerous amounts of time consuming their their content uh, and their advice and their coaching in one way or another. So the next woman is Monique Head and she uh, is on YouTube. That's how I found her. Now I haven't taken any of Monique Head's paid programs, but I can tell you that when I first found Monique Head on YouTube, I watched probably all of her videos as far back as I could go, right? And realized that she had also been talking about um, femininity and and her her approach to femininity is all about understanding your feminine allure and um, so that's one of the things that I really took from her was that you know femininity has an allure to it and that that allure is magnetizing and so you know she's a Christian woman uh, entrepreneur she's now a mother I think when I first encountered her she um, was married but she was was uh, hadn't had her children yet um, and so I she I believe she's still coaching but listen good advice is good advice and so all these women I would encourage you to, to dig deep into their archives and really soak up as, as much as you can and then make your decision about who you want to take the next steps with. Because Yaya Smith has a, a program called Feminine Success. I know that Life Koshan offers um, life and dating coaching. I know Monique Head has programs around her feminine allure, right? And she's, and I, I, the, I think the phrase that really resonates with me from Monique Head is about, um, she always talks about uh, tending to your inner garden. And, you know, for me, um, that phrase was so helpful because it was like, if you, like my mom has a garden in her backyard, right? And so I understand what like working in the garden and cultivating the garden is like. And so when she, when she used that, when she uses that phrase and she talks about tending to your inner garden, um, I, like I get that, right? And so, you know, for those of you who from my last video were talking about like, you know, you're really looking for people who are talking about more than just the appearance or the mannerisms. And these women are going to acknowledge those things. So like, I don't want you to use that as like a, a filter to be like, oh, if they talk about appearance, then I'm not going to um, engage with them. Let me tell you, you could tell by the pictures that these are beautiful women. So these are women who definitely cultivate their beauty. Um, you know, that was also important to me. I didn't want somebody who was looking ratted and tatted and tired, right? Uh, talking to me about femininity, um, because beauty is a tool, right? And so, yes, all of them, um, are going to address beauty, but it wasn't the sole thing that they, they built their, their messaging around, their brand around, their platform around. So, Monique Head was all about the feminine allure, right? And she is going to talk to you about relationships and that, um, you know, if you are a marriage-minded woman of faith, um, then, you know, and you want to get married, right? Like she's going to talk to you about like that feminine allure and how that uh, comes to aid you in that process, right? Um, so the next person is Ashley Empowers, okay? And so Ashley Empowers, um, is I, I would you call her I wouldn't call her a dating coach because she's really focused on like marriage and then like life after marriage right so or like getting married and then life after getting married and so um she's probably m most known for her two programs which is worthy of the weight and the high earning housewife right and so um you know I took her program worthy of the weight like oh years ago um and she has books she's she's got a youtube series her and her husband um so that's kind of what makes them a little bit more unique is that her husband kind of chimes in with the commentary on some things and they dialogue about different things um they have a very robust youtube channel and i think she has a podcast um and so um you know they're they're they lean very very heavily into the the Christian part of, of you know healthy relationships so I won't say that um Ashley you know promotes herself as like a femininity coach she definitely is all about like about healthy relationships healthy marriages healthy families but one of the things that she does talk about with the women is about really enhancing embracing their femininity right and I remember she did a webinar called the favor factor and I just remember that the title alone 
was, you know, uh, that the woman is the favor factor. And I think I mentioned this in my previous video that she um, said that, um, you know, she referenced the scripture, he that findeth the wife findeth the good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. And I remember being like, right. And like the wife is the favor factor. Like he that finds a, a wife finds a good thing. So you're the good thing. And obtains favor from the Lord. And I just, that, I had never really at that time looked at that scripture that way. Now she did that masterclass webinar years ago, but she still runs her programs worthy of the weight and the high earning housewife. Um, and you know, I, I think her demographic is a little bit younger. Um, so depending on where you are, um, you, these women are all different ages and stages of life, but she's married, believer, has children, <laughs> entrepreneur, right? And so again, you don't have to follow these particular women, but I'm kind of showing you like, like I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a woman, I'm a believer, right? You know, um, who desires at some point to get married and have children. And, and so seeing those examples and learning from them has not only been helpful and transformative in my journey, but also has been really, really encouraging to see it in action and watch these women. Like I said, these women have been doing this for years. This is not new. Okay. To them, you know, they not like, Ooh, I just started talking about femininity last week. Right. Um, they were, they've been doing it since before it was, you know, the it thing to talk about. Right. So there's that. And then, um, uh, Gina DeV. Now Gina DeV, uh, is definitely what I would consider. She's a business coach. So this is probably going to surprise you. She's a business coach. Um, but it's all about like faith, femininity and business, right? So she's really, uh, one of the things that I liked about Gina DeV is that Gina DeV was very big on how femininity plays a role uh, in your business, in your finances, and, and the way that you work, right? And, and she's really big into lifestyle. She is unapologetic about being into luxury, has been that way for years. Um, I, I, and I, I'll link to her website down below. Now, I haven't taken any programs from Gina DeVee because like I said, you know, she was like, um, a business coach and I had other coaches for that, but, um, I have bought her book. Um, I've talked about that, the audacity to be queen. You know, I used to listen to, uh, her radio show years ago, her video series on her, her website that she had years ago. I think she now has a podcast, which I haven't really paid attention to. I do believe she has a YouTube channel. Um, where I used to watch some of her older videos, but maybe not her, her newer stuff. And uh, I'm a part of her membership community. And so, um, you know, I will say that as far as women that I have listened to for years, um, and all the, so the thing about Gina DeVee that I think I appreciate the most, it, it, was, the, it was the femininity in entrepreneurship, right? So I love being an entrepreneur. Um, like I, when I found entrepreneurship, I felt like I, I came home, right? Like I was like, oh, this is the place for me. But, um, so what drew me to her was that I had never heard anyone talk about business, um, in the way that she did. And it was very countercultural. Gina is not about the hustle and the grinding and the whatever she is about, you know, doing your work, being diligent, but she was, you know, a lot of money mindset, um, how your femininity plays. And what's, what I love about Gina is that she actually used to be a psychotherapist before she became a life and business coach. And so that, that shows up a lot in her work. Um, also a believer. And so, um, you know, also married, she does not have children, um, by her own choosing. And so, you know, I, like, I kind of, I kind of view these women as my like board of femininity directors, whether they know it or not. Right. And then, um, so those are probably my favorite, like femininity mentors, but then there have been people in my life that I have just observed, right? They, you know, they may not be entrepreneurs. They may not teach on femininity or relationships or business, but that I have just watched them. And as I learned about femininity, I saw that they were naturally feminine women. Um, and it was very encouraging. I mean, one that I'm pretty sure if you've been on my channel any amount of time is, um, 
God's design here on YouTube. You know, yes, she is my friend, but you know, watching her over the years, watching her, you know, get married, become a mother, you know, navigate her career and, you know, and, and, and different things in her life. Um, you know, you can tell that she was raised by a feminine woman. You can tell that she is very comfortable in her, her femininity, just from the way that she conducts herself, um, you know, the way that she handles her affairs. And like all of these women, you know, like even outside of their direct teachings, there, there was something about them for me. And you may really like some of them, dislike some of them, but it's all personal preference. You know, they're not, every, it's not one size fits all. But I, these are people that I would say, you know, I think if you start with them, you know, may not agree with every single thing that they say or every single thing that they recommend, but it's a great starting place um, as you figure out, you know, who you want to learn from, right? So um, those are my favorite femininity mentors, like I said. Um, I think I'll put, you know, the few femininity, femininity videos that I have on my channel, uh, in a playlist, but I usually link to those women's, um, you know, their platforms and things below. Um, if they've written books, that's usually in the description box. And there's a couple of other books, um, of things that I would say absolutely didn't have anything to do with femininity, but still helped me, which would be Jimmy Evans. Um, uh, you know, Jimmy Evans is a pastor who talks a lot about marriage, right? Like that, that's that man's calling. And what was so interesting is that as I studied marry, marriage, it, it taught me so much about femininity, even though I don't think he ever uses that word. I don't think he ever uses masculinity. I don't even think that's what he's trying to do. But being able to understand the dynamics of men and women and then our relationship with God um, individually and collectively has has been super super helpful i just remember like marathon watching through um his videos on youtube and the same thing with dr miles monroe right that dr miles monroe is not uh you know and uh, he unfortunately he had is uh passed away but years ago i mean i've been watching miles monroe for seven eight years um so even before he passed away but that, you know, as a believer and his perspective on the kingdom and then his kind of breakdown on men and women's needs and marriage and relationships and things like that, which I think the reason why people talk about femininity in relationships so much is because that's probably one of the most tangible displays of the interaction of the masculine and feminine, even though, you know, it's more broad than that. But, you know, um, his book, Power and Purpose of Woman, I've talked about that, is really great. Um, you know, I didn't really talk about Michelle McKinney Hammond because I haven't really followed her work. Um, but um, I did read her book and I talk about that in the books and the people that have helped me um, in my femininity journey. So uh, I'll also put together like a little um, Amazon list of the books. Brene Brown, oh my God, listen. Not talk, Brene Brown ain't even talking about relationships or femininity, but when I tell you that her audio on the power of vulnerability. Yes, there's a little 15 minute TED talk on YouTube. And if I remember, I'll, I'll link it there. But no, on, on Audible, I'll leave a link to it on Audible. It's six hours. I probably have listened to that thing five or six times and it is life changing. I mean, yes, her books, The Gifts of Imperfection, um, Dare to Lead, um, you know, I Thought It Was Just Me, um, all of that are great. But I, I think one of her best works has been um, the power of vulnerability. It's a six hour like seminar that she did somewhere and they recorded it and it's 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 life changing. So anyway, just wanted to do that video. I thought it was gonna be quick, but <laughs> it was long um, about, you know, the, the people that I have chosen to li listen to, um, learn from, and they're not giving me, oh, send this text messages, say this, make your war show look like this, wear pink all the time. Like that, they're so not that when you look at these women, they're going to be as different as different can be. Some of them have locks. Some of them, you know, have natural hair down in their back. Some of them got wearing weaves and wigs, right? Some of them, you know, like, it, like, and it doesn't matter, right? Eyelashes, no eyelashes, heavy makeup. I have no idea where my video cut off at. Um, this is the second time it's done that to me today. And so I saw it trekking along and then it cut off. 
I think I was at like the 28 minute mark. So anyway, uh, I was just basically saying, you know, let me know um, if this video was helpful. You know, I recommend bookmarking uh, the, the links that I'm going to share with you below so you can remember them and have access to them uh, when you're ready to, um, you know, listen or watch or read. And then also let me know, like, what questions do you have about, you know, the women that I've shared today um, or about this? And I was saying before I was cut off, like, um, this may be my last video in the femininity series, maybe. Uh, I, I like I said I'm not a teacher so I'm not about to come with you like 10 ways to enhance your feminine energy like I'm not like that's not my that's not my jam um, but I just I you know I had some things that I wanted to say that I wanted to share as I saw the space becoming more and more saturated and I wanted to share people who've been at this work a really long time who have helped you know hundreds if not thousands of people directly or indirectly right um, who you know really feel like it's God's calling on their life to do what they're what they're doing um and it's not a money grab you know what I mean so uh with that being said uh I hope that you enjoyed this video let me know you know um like I said what questions you have or thoughts about these videos remember like don't recommend nobody to me okay like I appreciate you um but I'm not going to go follow them I'm not going to um watch their stuff, read their stuff, listen to their stuff or whatever. Uh, these women have given me so much to uh, consider and work through over the years. I, I'm good. Like I, I, I found my top five, you know, everybody got their, who your top five MCs? Like I got my top five <laughs> um, uh, femininity mentors. So uh, wishing you the same, but if you need a starting point, uh, then I, I suggest you check them out. All right, y'all. Peace.